story we brought you about a woman who held up a pharmacy in Cudahy. Police say they've caught the woman responsible after another robbery. Fox 6's Brett Vagansky tells us she wasn't so lucky this time, right, Brett? That's correct, Mary. The robber followed the same pattern from October. She handed the pharmacist a note demanding drugs, but this time some people saw what was happening, and that turned out to be the difference maker. It was the break Conahay police had been waiting for. She got away with the first two, and the third one, we finally got her off the street. She walked into a Conahay pick and save on Monday the same way she did back in October, wearing a hooded sweatshirt covering her face, her routine also the same as she approached the counter. She kept her hands in her pockets and implied that she had a gun, but no gun was displayed. She also passed a note demanding oxycodone and other pharmaceutical drugs, Followed by the same thing she told a pharmacist more than one month ago. Hurry up or I'll shoot. But this time some pick and save employees overheard it. The pharmacist gave in and afterwards the suspect walked out of the store and employees followed her and gave police a description of her car. Police were able to find her then pulled her over. After searching the car and questioning her, police say she confessed. The clothing that she was wearing was found in the vehicle and when she was asked if she was involved with it, she did admit to being involved with the robbery. It was the right place at the right time and without the store employees, police say the arrest may not have been possible. A Cudahy woman is currently in jail for these crimes. Cudahy police say she's responsible for three armed robberies, two in Cudahy and the third in the city of West Dallas. Now formal charges are expected to come out from the Milwaukee District Attorney tomorrow. Ted. All right, Brett, thanks very much. Guilty of corruption, now the former Illinois governor learns his fate.